What size programs is very important in our societies in these industries as well? As you know, food essential to human and people need varieties of food especially nowadays people are more well exposed they're more well educated as well and people like different types of choices as well so food scientists is very in great demand because we are looking into not only choice but people are also looking into nutrition values as well and as you know nowadays food security is a major issue in worldwide as well and that is very much tied to the crops productions is reducing so being a food scientist is very important in this industry in the sense that being a food scientist you will know what sort of ingredients what sort of a food substitute can be used in the food process things improve processed food so that will also to help to um, to solve some of the issue that being raised by the food security um, because of the crop production is reducing so being a food scientist not only coming up with a food different types of food uh, varieties um, also food nutrition as well as most important is in terms of the technology that is being used to process the food that should not uh, reduce the nutrition values okay and also not to reduce the texture and the taste and the um, uh, um, and the features of the food as well so being a food scientist constantly is required and highly demand in the food industry because new technology is required how to preserve the food in terms of the technology approach is constantly being questioned and need to be improved uh, basically because we want to reduce using food preservatives which is chemical base is there any biological base so this so many questions has to be answered so food scientists is essential is important is in great demand in whether in Malaysia also in worldwide A nutritionist is basically a person who has studied a wide range of um, different areas of nutrition aspect, whether it's human nutrition, what sort of food, uh, nutraceutical food, functional food. Basically, they will understand what is the nutrition requirement for a particular group of people, for example, elderly, young children, or different uh, patients who have a different uh, illness. So they will understand, they will be able to advise, but the difference being a dietetic is basically because a dietetic is able to write and formulate a dedicated meal plan for a particular person, especially for a person who is having a, a health concerns or illness, and that is very specific. And this person usually work in the hospital or medical centers, and they're able to. Um, certified you know this is a meal plan that can design a specific uh, nutrition requirement for example diabetic patients in the first breakfast how many grams of sugars they can take okay similarly in the lunch as well as dinner so they will design the plan five meals in the day a very well balanced uh, meal for a particular person whereas nutritionists will not able to do so they only can provide information Food science and food technology basically um, is the same uh, kind of definitions. A uh, food science, this or food technology, they study the same uh, subjects. All right, basically they study the science of the food. They also study biology, chemistry, food chemistry, food analysis. So. Food technologies, they also study food science. Without understanding the science of the food, they were not able to process the, te the food. So being a food scientist as well, without understanding the technology, for example, preservation, processing, and packaging, they were not able to call themselves a food scientist as well. So I would say food science as well, food technology, these two terminologies is interchangeable. The School of Biosciences Food Science Nutrition Programs has a very unique features. It's a three and a half years program uh, in which we have the um, second years which compose of the nutrition uh, 
compound modules which allow our food science graduates to have the essentials understandings, basic understanding about nutrition. Because being a food scientist, when you design a food product without understanding what is nutrition, what is the nutrition requirements, what is a functional food, and how nutrition affects our health and the diseases, then they will not be able to design a new, a good product. In the third year, they're looking into the... Um, aspects of um, food analysis, food processing. They also look into food chemistry and, and food physics, which is very different from other programs in other uh, universities, um, whereby students will look into how, after designing, understanding the basic food science, they will look into the technology about how to design the product. They have this unit called food product development, whereby the students will uh, select the ingredients select the ingredients and, and they're able to design and, and there's one wonderful part about these programs before they come to the third year. In the first year, they also have this uh, subject which is called culinary practice one, whereby the students is being exposed to um, basic cooking skills in terms of how to use a knife, how the different food ingredients are being blended to come up with a good dish. I think being a food scientist, a lot of the time when I look at the food science program in many places, they're lacking of these uh, subjects. But those is very important. I personally feel, and I also talk to the people from the food industry, it's essential actually for a food scientist to have this set of skills for understanding about cooking and how different ingredients blend together. That will give them a bonus extra skill for them to have this uh, understanding of cooking. So by the end of the third year, when it comes to food product development of the, that particular module, the students will select the raw materials, as I mentioned earlier, and they have this set of skills of cooking skills. They're able to you know, uh, help them to design the food product, whether it's cooking, whether they're designing a new food drinks and so on. And the set of skills they have, they will help them to develop a product which has able to uh, meet the, um, the, the, f the consumer's requirements. Eventually, they're also looking into the uh, packaging, labeling, designing as well. And Another unique point about this uh, food science nutrition programs is that it's a food business management uh, module at the third years as, at the final years as well, whereby the students will learn how to market their product. They will look into business plan. What is a market analysis? I think that is important for being a food scientist. You don't design a food product whereby there's no consumer wanted to buy it. Yeah. So I think it's a very comprehensive programs whereby the students start from the basic science, food science, into technology, into business. I think that one of the, uh, another point, unique point about this food science programs is the Hala food. We have two electives, which is the uh, introduction to Hala food, as well as principle of Hala food uh, business management. These are the two electives whereby students are, uh, have the opportunity to um, do in during the four, uh, three and a half years programs. In our programs, we have these uh, two electives, which is the introduction to Hala Food as well as the Hala Food Business Management, whereby the students have the opportunity to learn the uh, Hala Food concept principles and how the business involve as well. Um, as you know, Hala Food industry is one of the um, upcoming market. It's, it's a big market, whether it's in Malaysia as well as in, in worldwide. It's, it's increasing in market values as well as demands. So if our students have this set of skills or they have done these two electives, they will have the additional point uh, in terms of employability because many countries are looking for this kind of a graduate with this uh, understanding and these qualifications and um, also the, the experience in Hala food. So I think this is a um, unique selling point of our programs. Um, our graduates in these programs, they can go into a food companies, whether being a food production managers, food processing, QA, QC, 
which is quality control and quality assurance uh, departments. They can look into the uh, marketing. They can look into our uh, academic. If look into academic, they can become a researchers as well. They can go into um, not necessarily in the food industry. They can even venture into any other business because they have these um, uh, business skills that they have acquired as well. So there are many other opportunities they can venture into.